So this is your first time uh, voicing a character in a film? Yeah, this what was is your my, experience. Oh, it was so much fun. You know, I learned so many new lessons. I think the world of voiceover is just so different from, you know, like on camera acting. And it was a really thrilling experience for sure. Being based on Japanese folklore, do you think that uh, American audiences would resonate with the film, would uh, adapt to the, the folklore too? Yeah, I mean, I'll let Dice talk on this a little bit. But for me, just kind of reading the, the script and watching it come to life, I think there's just so many characteristics that I recognize from you know my childhood within the film which I thought was just so cool um, and the story itself is kind of made to resonate with all audiences um, which I think is great and I'll let you kind of well, I, I think um, uh, as you said it it is the setup is culturally very specific Japanese folklore world and characters but but the story is still a human story and I think it's very universal it's a girl who goes through a life-changing challenges and she finds a way to overcome the challenges. So um, I hope anyone in the world can, you know, find it that's inspiring. Why choose uh, the medium that you chose for the animation? Why stop motion and instead uh, uh, opposed to as uh, a, a Japanese animation or anime? So um, it is actually not stop motion. Stop motion inspired, and it, we actually ended up making it in CG. Uh, but we it did start as a stop motion project and we love the medium of stop motion so we made it in cg because a lot of us uh, at tonko house come from pixar that that's where our careers were before we started tonko house so we are very familiar with the medium of cg however we worked with animation um, team in japan so they brought their sort of our own version of CG animation that's not the same as Disney Pixar animation. So can you tell me more about the film so people can be enticed to watch it? Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. thank you. Um, the, the film kind of follows a girl named Onari and uh, I guess her challenge and, and the obstacles she has to overcome to, I don't know, kind of, I guess, like find herself and, and just, I think it's, it is a really great story of of the struggles that you face kind of growing up as well. Um, you know, it takes place in this really magical, I would say, kind of like element and environment. And I don't know, I'll let you kind of add on that, but. Yeah, it will ultimately, it's a story of a girl who struggles between who she wants to be and who she really is. And what kind of inspires her to overcome that challenge is this unlikely you know, presence in her life, which you'll find out in a film. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You.